Installation Steps 4 G18 Agricultural Drone Frame Installation Take out the frame and the parts. Be sure to distinguish between the front and rear, as well as the top and bottom of the frame. The positions marked with M1 and M2 indicate the front, while M3 and M4 indicate the rear. On the frame, the side with four positioning holes is the top, and the side with five holes is the bottom. Step 1. Install four arm clamps on the outer side of the frame. Make sure the front clamps face upward and the rear clamps face downward, and all clamp openings face outward. Step 2. Install the weight pads. Be sure to distinguish the front, left, and right pads. Then press the pads on the buckles. Step 3. Install the battery plug at the drone rear. 300A and AS150U plugs are available. Before installing the 300A plug, install two battery guide rails on the inner side of the rear frame. Make sure the arrow faces upward. When installing the AS150U plug, install the battery compartment. Step 4. Install the front power distribution board. Use screws to fix the PDB onto both sides of the front cover. Step 5. Install the all covers onto the drone body. Then, attach the GPS mount on the front drone. Step 6. Install the radar adapter bracket. First, install the two cover onto the adapter bracket. Then, fix the radar adapter onto the back of the front drone. Step 7. Install four landing gear fixing mounts onto the frame. Insert the landing gear into the mounts, ensuring the arrow points toward the front. Then, turn the drone over and press it down to level it. Finally, tighten the mounts. Step 8. At the rear of the drone, install the T-shaped adapters onto the landing gear, according to the positioning marks. Make sure the holes on the adapters face inward horizontally. Install one adapter first, insert the crossbar into it, and tighten. Then install the other adapter and secure the crossbar. Arm and motor installation. Step 1. Install the locking handles. Place the nuts into the holes. Then, insert the locking handles, pass the screws through the bottom holes, and tighten them. Repeat this process for the remaining handles. Step 2. Install the forearms into their corresponding positions on the frame. Use nuts and screws to fasten the arms securely. Step 3. Connect the locking handles to the arms. Screw the hex stud into the short pivot of the handle. Then, insert the long pivot into the hole on the arm and secure it with a screw. Step 4. Pass the front and rear power adapter cables through both sides of the frame. Then connect the plugs to the front and rear PDB. Step 5. Install the motors. First, identify the correct motor positions. Install CCW motors at M1 and M3, and CW motors at M2 and M4. Route the motor cables and signal cables through the arms and into the frame. Secure the motors properly to prevent them from falling off. Step 6. Route the M1 and M2 motor cables through the frame into the rear drone. Then connect all motor cables to the battery plug interface. Step 7. Route the M3 and M4 signal cables through the frame into the front drone. Radar and other parts installation. Step 1. Remove the front cover from the radar adapter bracket and attach the front radar to it. Then, reinstall the cover onto the bracket. Step 2. Install the altitude radar at the bottom of the bracket. Make sure the radar is parallel to the ground. Step 3. Install the camera above the radar. Then, route both the camera cables and radar cables through the frame into the front drone. Spraying system installation. Step 1. Install the four extended Y-type dual nozzles underneath each motor. Make sure the longer nozzle rod faces outward and the shorter rod faces inward. Then, install the clamps on each of the four arms. Step 2. Install the pump at the bottom of the tank, making sure the pump head faces the tank's outlet. Also, install a 12mm hose clamp on the back of the tank. Step 3. Use a 12mm hose to connect the tank outlet to the pump inlet. A hot air gun can be used to soften the hose for easier connection. Then, use another 12mm hose to connect the pump outlet to an adapter. Next, use 12mm hoses to connect the adapter to two 12 to 8mm adapters. Finally, secure the hose on the back of the tank into the clamp. Step 4. After placing the tank into the drone frame, use 8mm hoses to connect the nozzles on the forearms. Secure the hoses into the clamps on the arms and then connect them to the adapters. Step 5. Pass the pump's power and signal cables through the seal ring and into the front drone. 
Flight Control Installation Step 1. Use 3M adhesive to secure the FMU at the center of the flight control board, making sure the arrow points toward the front of the drone. Then fix the PMU and the receiver in place. Step 2. Connect the signal cables from M1 to M4 to the corresponding M1-M4 ports on the FMU. After connecting the PMU and FMU, plug the PMU power connector into the PDB. Connect the receiver's SBUS signal cable and UART cable to the SBUS port and data transmission port on the FMU. Step 3. Install the GPS onto its bracket, then plug the GPS cable into the GPS port on the FMU. Step 4. Connect the radar signal cables to the CAN1 and CAN2 ports on the PMU. Step 5. Connect the pump signal cable to the P1 port on the PMU and plug the pump power cable into the PDB. Step 6. Plug the LED cable into the LED port on the PMU and use 3M adhesive to fix the LED at the tail light cover position. Step 7. Connect the camera cable to the camera port on the receiver and plug the camera power cable into the PDB. Finally, the flight control installation is complete. Flight debugging. First, place the drone on a level surface and use a spirit level to adjust the horizontal position of the motors. Then, tighten them. Power on the drone and turn on the remote controller. Open the H12 Assistant app. Use a tool to short circuit the GND and mode key pins on the receiver side. Then click Bind to start the pairing process. Once binding is successful, click Advanced Options, enter the password, click Settings, set the port baud rate to 115,200, set the output to SBES, and save the settings. Next, Next, click Parameter Settings. Channels 1 to 5 are gray and cannot be modified. Channels 6 to 9 can be customized. And set the channel 6 to the F gear, channel 7 to the A button, channel 9 to the H gear dial dot, then save the settings. Open the VK Agriculture app. Register a new account or log in with an existing account to automatically connect to the drone. Then return to the home page and tap Settings Greater Than Controller. Set the operating mode to left throttle mode. Next, proceed to the channel check. Long press on a channel to modify its function. Set channel 6 to home. Set channel 7 to pump. Set channel 9 to AB point. Tap calibrate controller in the upper right corner. Calibrate both control sticks by moving them up, down, left, and right in sequence, and confirm that each control stick and button functions properly. Then check the motors to ensure that M1 to M4 can rotate normally in order. Tap Agriculture, where the user can adjust AB width, AB speed, and pump mode. Go to Flight Settings to customize the auto takeoff altitude and home altitude. Recommended Settings Level 1 Low Voltage Alarm 50.4 volts Action Warning Level 2 Low Voltage Alarm 49 volts. Action. Home. Tab. Calibrate to perform mag calibration. Lift the drone and rotate it until the remote controller prompts for vertical plane calibration. Then, lift the drone vertically and continue rotating until you hear calibration completed. Put the drone down, turn off the battery, and power it on again to complete the calibration. Tap drone type default and adjust the pump max flow and min flow. In advanced settings, Set the type to quadcopter X refer to the video for algorithm parameters, installation, and sensitivity settings. For further options, please contact official support. After completing all debugging steps, fasten the top cover of the drone body. Install the propellers onto the motors, making sure that each propeller's rotation direction matches the corresponding motor. Then, tighten the screws securely. In spraying mode, press the A button to turn on the pump and check the spraying function. Next, push both joysticks inward and hold for a few seconds to unlock the motors. If unsuccessful, repeat this process several times. If the motors start normally, the debugging is complete. Finally, push the left joystick upward to take off and begin flight operations.